I totally understand that when you start watching any Python course, it feels like super easy at the start, but then it becomes boring. A lot of presentation, a lot of theory, and the most important thing, you don't connect with the instructor. It feels dull, boring, and it feels like you're building toy applications. That is not the case with this course. This is the course which took me months and months in creation of the course, as well as years of experience of building this course. Hi, my name is Hitesh and I have over 14 years of experience of teaching people how to learn code and how to write code. I have built my successful startups and now with this course, I want to present you my best work in the Python. I also have two YouTube channel, which combinedly caters around 1.5 million coders on YouTube. And this has given me the immense ability to turn the toughest topic into the easiest one. And I would like to welcome you in this world's best course on Python, which don't just write the toy apps, but actually teaches you how to write production grade Python code. This is not just any another Python course. This is a project powered production ready Python course, which will make you absolutely fundamentally ready to understand any Python script as well as write any script. No copy pasting of the code. We will understand each line and each syntax, no matter how difficult it is. Not only that, we are going to build more than 50 projects in this course. It sounds crazy and it is very crazy to build 50 projects, not just only projects. With every single section, you're going to see that we have the videos which directly dive into the code. We also have coding exercises throughout spread into the course as well as quiz to make sure that you actually grasp your knowledge. Throughout this course, you are going to feel that yes, this course is not for building the toy apps. This is the real deal. But don't you worry. We will start from absolute scratch. We will start with picking up the right IDE, which is required for us, and how do we write the variables. We will spend good amount of time with the data types. And once we are done with this, we will spend so much of the time in a story mode so that we can see all the real world connection in writing the code. We have so many stories as challenges that we have to convert into conditionals, loops, function, object-oriented programming, file handling, context awareness, as well as including other third-party modules in Python. We'll not shy away from the tough topics like decorators, comprehensions, and generators, and so much more is there. In this course, you are not just following along with me. You are writing production-grade scripts, and all these 50 projects are just templates. These are the templates that you will be using in your real world. Whether you use Python for data science, machine learning, DevOps, Linux management, or just for website building, you will love all these scripts. This is a jam-packed course. No fluff, no slides, pure code and pure explanation of each line of code that how we can master it, how we can write production-ready, scalable code where you don't have to copy-paste even a single line of thing. You will understand truly for the first time what it is to unleash the superpower of Python with 50 projects. That's the highlight. I'm super excited to present this course for you. This is one of my best work in the Python that I have done in last 14 years. And you will absolutely see that in every single video that yes, I was in absolute free time to prepare this course. That is it. Let's go ahead and catch up inside the course. Hey there everyone and welcome to the course introduction video. This video is divided into two parts. The first part where I will give you a small walkthrough of the Udemy interface, how to utilize it, uh, perfectly for your use case and how to use every single tool that Udemy provides us. With this, I will also like to differentiate between what is the, the job role as well as the responsibilities on the Udemy side and what are the responsibilities on my side. Sometimes I see in the reviews that, hey, I was not able to play the video, it was buffering a lot, and that shows up in the course review. This is not the place to put these reviews. A Udemy review should be put up in the Udemy app section or maybe just email to Udemy. The course reviews are just for the course itself, the content that the instructor is providing. So make sure you keep an idea on that. And uh, first, let me take you onto the screen so that I can walk you through with that. So this is how the Udemy interface looks like. And uh, by the way, just a fun thing uh, to show you that, hey, look at this. If I don't publish the video, it says something like this. Published January 1970. Very interesting date. 
But we are not here to discuss about that. Let me give you a brief tour of how the Udemy interface looks like. This is the Udemy player and if you just look at this at the very top of this section, this is where you see that you can change the playback rate to different stuff like you have 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 1.25 and all these things options are available to you. This is the one part of it. You can also go ahead and quickly do a five second rewind or five second fast forward in case you like that, hey, I missed this concept, maybe I need to rewatch that. That's the basics of it. You can also go ahead and add your note. You can also go ahead and click on the Q&A section. Let me move this a tiny bit here so that we can see it easily. So this overview is where you see all the details of how many students are watching. Uh, the lectures 128, the video is 25 hours. By the time you will be watching it, it will be much more. Q&A is really interesting. We do have our team which helps you a lot in answering the questions. But you can also get your answer with the AI as well. These AIs are trained just on the course material itself and you can ask a lot of questions on them. You can take your notes. If there is interesting, you would like to note it down for future reference, you can go ahead and do that. This is where you see the announcement. I rarely post announcements unless until there is a new addition in the course, that's only. Reviews is where you review the course. Again, my humble recommendation is please rate the course based on the content that we are providing and the price you are paying for that. It takes a lot of effort to build these courses and please don't rate based on you were not able to utilize the platform or the buffering was there, that's a Udemy job. And these rating do hurt us if they are bad. Uh, we took, uh, all these things very seriously and we put a lot of effort on that. You also have these learning tools where you can add reminders. So this is basically about the Udemy. You can also change the settings. We upload all the videos in 1080p but Udemy sometimes uh, short them up with the 720 or late, maybe a little bit lower. So just request to the Udemy that hey we want the full uh, 1080p of the videos. You can autoplay it, you can use the keyboard shortcuts and all these things. Apart from this video player, you also have these resources. As you can see, sometimes we give the resources directly uh, at the top of the video. Sometimes when it is required, we give them line by line. So all the course content, all the code files are available here. Not only just have to watch the video, some of these sections have these coding exercises as well. Again, these coding exercises are part of Udemy's uh, platform itself. We just post the content and how the exercise will be there. So question is ours. The platform is definitely not ours. Uh, so go ahead and write your code. We have written the test cases which passes the code if you write them right for our input. Uh, whatever the input we give it, whatever the output the, your program gives out. Based on that, these uh, tests are being uh, checked. So apart from this, you also will have quizzes. So let me pause this. Let me move it here. So at the very end of each section, you are going to see there is a quiz and we have worked really hard on the quiz. Every section has a relevant quiz for that particular section only. This will make sure that you cement your concept uh, really solid and you will absolutely enjoy that. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of content. So let's go ahead and talk about the content side of it. Don't worry, you will not see the draft mode. By the time you'll be watching this video, it will be definitely in the publish mode. So as you can see, we have a lot going on in this course. Over 25 hours, 27 coding exercises, 58 downloadable resources. By the way, there are more uh, than 58 downloadable resources. And uh, not only just 25 hours, uh, you have coding quizzes as well, you have uh, regular quizzes and coding exercises. So it will take a little bit more uh, to you to uh, jo just go completely with this course. Now coming on to the content part, there is a lot of content in this course and let me walk you through what's going on with each one of them along with the time as well. Let me zoom this actually, this will make sense. And move it here, all right. So as you can see, the first section is all about introduction for those people who have never coded in life. This is going to be really fantastic. You will get the introduction to what is programming, what is it is right to write the code and all these details. We will pick up our ID and work through with that. So this is a really interesting section. We'll go through with the programming basics and stuff. We are spending around one and a half hour on to this section. The next section is the most important one, which is the data type. This is where you should spend a really good amount of time. Although we have spent two hours, I recommend you to put twice of that time on this section. After that, we have conditional loops and functions. We are spending almost one hour with each this section, functions being exception of having two hours of content. And yes, we are going absolutely in depth of functions as well, because Python is these days being written mostly in a functional kind of a programming. So you will love this section a lot. After that, comprehensions and decorators and generator, these are considered as a decently advanced topic. 
uh, but by following these lectures you will see that all right I totally understand this we are spending good amount of time there we are not brushing these topic off usually these are just 10 minutes or 20 minutes of topic we are spending good 40 minutes on just comprehension because in the project section we are writing a lot of comprehensions then generators and decorators they deserve their own one hour so we are doing that and after that you see that we have almost two hours one and a half hour on object oriented programming don't worry we will be taking care a lot more of it in the project section then after that we have the file handling section as well uh, you will love this we are doing file handling with variety of ways with the try catch with with open and I will show you what is going on behind the scene and details of it after that there is more in Python I couldn't find a better name for this section because I want to add more videos in this section as of now there is just one video on virtual environment but I want to add more things into it so by the time you'll be watching it within few minutes within few months it will be having things like UV uh, some more fun stuff that I wanted to discuss on Python so I'll be keep on adding them because I really want to add those videos into this after that it starts the day series so this is like you spend one day with one lecture and you will be spending as of now 40 52 days with us and we are building so many projects each day is kind of its own project so for example first we are building utility scripts so things like uh, build splitters these are something which will help you to solidify every concept that we have learned so far each one have their own interesting way of solving the problem you will learn not only just python but problem solving capabilities as well it's a pretty fun section you will love that after that we are working on data handling in the world of python you handle a variety of data csvs json excel uh, csvs and a lot of data types so we are working on that along with that we are working on matplotlib to understand how the graphs and images are being handled we are also working on cryptography symmetric encryption this is a pretty fun one we are building a secure offline password vault as well uh, these are fun projects and will help you a lot after that we have this web scraping you will absolutely love this scraping section notice this we are doing not only just wiki of course we are scraping the wikipedia everybody does that but we are also working on scraping as well as taking this scraping data into different formats csvs json sqlite we're dealing with all of them we also are handling multi-page data scraping there is an interesting concept how the multiple pages of websites are being scraped we're also working on downloading the streaming without any third party library and working with the downloading of images with the third party. So both of the things we are taking care of it. This is really one of my favorite lectures of all. We are also working on scrape and download anything with wget. We are working on that part as well. We are generating images, cryptography price, uh, tr uh, tracking crypto tokens and coins and all of that. Uh, we are also doing do this task every hour store and search in sqlite db read pdfs a lot of these things are really fun and this is one of the best section of this course you will thoroughly love it as well as use it every single day in your python journey after that we are working on automation of python script so things like how to organize the files or how to keep on running a script which constantly monitor your system and do xyz task a lot of fun is here and you will be using them in your real servers as well then we have some of the data science project as well i will be adding more of the projects but as of now we have data science we will be working and discussing about anaconda jupyter notebooks and then we are working on how the linear regression works reminding you again this is not a data science course this is just a python course but i wanted to add some projects just to give you a brief overview that what it's like to work in the data science world that is why it is here we are working on NLP as well, a little bit brief overview of that and some of the vector uh, techniques, how to do the vectorization, training the model, generating the data set and not only just generating the data set, we are actually using a little bit of streamlit as well. So we'll work on UI provide as well, how to provide the UI to the user and we'll work on numpies and pandas, not in too depth, just a brief overview. Remember again, this is not a data science course. And then we are working on building the URL shortener. This is a full stack project that we have. I have few more projects along with me and I am working really hard uh, to record those videos and add them in the course. And definitely in the upcoming few months, I'll be adding them. But my humble request to just buy the course based on what is available as of now, only with the existing content. It's already a lot of content, a lot of practical work that you will be learning in this. The goal of this entire series is very simple. I want to make sure that you understand how to write production grade Python code and in the most easiest and fun way. That's all I want to do. I want to make sure that you are not afraid of the code, you are not afraid of writing Python script 
and you don't feel stuck that I don't know how to do this. We'll plan things, we'll strategize the thing, we'll write the strategy and we'll convert those strategies in the code. That is all what we'll be doing. That is it for uh, my side as a course introduction. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.